What's up guys, Franco Mobile Homes here. and Today we're excited to talk about the three most common sizes and most common types of mobile homes. This is where we show you the ins and outs and everything there is to know about mobile homes. It is truly our mission to transform lives through mobile homes. So thanks for watching Franco Mobile Homes. We often get a lot of questions about what's a single wide, what's a double wide, what's a triple wide. And you'll hear that very often, whether you're buying a mobile home park or buying a mobile home or getting lending for this, you'll want to know what these are. So it's a very common question. So let's start it off with these single wides. Pretty self-explanatory, but we'll talk about pros and cons about these as well. Single wides, doesn't matter how big it is or how small it is, it's the smallest of the three types. So, which means that when this is built out of the factory, it's going out as one single piece. So it's one single width of what will be delivered to the site. So if you imagine in a factory, you'll have a long assembly line, you'll usually have two long steel I-beams with similar beams going across. But those two long I-beams are what's gonna be delivering this home on the highway or on the freeway to the final location. So single wides are the smallest of the three, but it also has a lot of pros. It's very common in mobile home parks. You'll also have different types. You'll have park models. You'll have different lengths of single wides as well. And it's the most affordable to move because we're only putting one big piece on an 18-wheeler instead of two or three it's the most affordable to move. And one big pro that I'm gonna talk about as well is that when you have multi-section mobile homes, which we'll get to later, single wides, you don't have to do as much construction because it's closed off all the way on all four sides of the home. So it's very minimal construction costs when you're on site. You don't have to tie down two homes together and seal up the construction. So many times we can build single wides on site a lot faster because it takes less of the meticulous items that need to be fixed. The typical range for single wides can be as small as 490 square feet to about 1200 square feet. And there are about one to two bedrooms for single wides. There's several different floor plans and it'll be different based on where you're located. But yeah, those are single wides. Let's get on to the next, which is, I'd say in California, some of the most popular ones as well. So this is a double wide. So these are constructed with two different structures. So the same that I was talking about with single wides, you'll have two I-beams that are going straight down the line, the assembly line, but this time you'll have two sets of those, basically two single wides that is built as one half of the home and the other is built as the second half of the home. So if you imagine when they're being delivered on the highway, it's actually two giant pieces going after the other. And then once it's on site, these two halves are then put together right up against each other, then sealed and constructed as a single mobile home. The reason it's a double wide is because the two widths itself is a double and then it becomes a single home formed from a double wide. Single wides, I should have mentioned this earlier, but it can be as small as like an eight foot wide all the way up to a 15 feet wide. So that's the max width that you'll typically be able to deliver on the freeway. Now with double wides, you can get double that width. Two 10 wide units that are built into one single home then becomes a 20 wide which allows for the home to be more spacious than a single wide because it's wider. Usually it'll be at least 20 feet wide, but there are 18 wide homes as well, but it can go all the way up to 30 feet wide for a double wide mobile home. Because each section can be up to 15 feet, that means that 15 times two will be 30 feet wide, which will bring that home to a final width of 30 feet by typically by 56. So 30 feet wide, 56 feet long, which allows for it to be around 1800 square feet, which becomes a very spacious home. But like I mentioned before, is when you're on site and doing the construction, a lot of the plumbing, the electrical, and all that stuff that's already finished in a single wide aren't gonna be finished for a double wide because the two parts have to be put together they will have to connect the plumbing, they'll have to collect the electrical, they'll have to connect the HVAC system and central heating, and then they'll close up the inside with drywall and finish off the flooring. And it takes a lot of time to do that to construct the home. But 
The pro to that is you have a much more spacious home than a single wide. Average square footage for these double wides can be about from a thousand all the way to up to 2,300 square feet. Now that's what's gonna vary is the widths of these homes and also the lengths of these homes. Typically you'll see with this size with a double wide, you'll see two to three bedrooms. Sometimes you'll even see four bedroom double wides as well. Now let's get on to triple wides. The truth of it is there's no limit to how many units we can use, but in mobile home parks, typically triple wides are pretty rare to come by, but you will come across them pretty often. Sometimes they're referred to as multi-section homes or multi-wide homes. They'll typically range from 2,900 square feet to about 4,500 square feet. So there's the pro to this is you have a ton of square footage. It's so much easier to do a four bedroom or even a five bedroom in these units because you have a lot of space to be able to do this. The con is it's very difficult to find spaces that will fit a triple wide. But when you have a big space and you want to be able to maximize that lot, you can definitely get a triple wide. You'll typically see at least three bedrooms on these homes. And yeah, uh, as mentioned, it could even be more than that. To be honest, we could build four multi-section unit mobile homes if we had that big enough space. But what's most common is really those single and double wide unit mobile homes. So those are the definitions for those three. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. We really wanna make more content like this, so please subscribe to our stuff. Thanks for watching, bye.